introduce you to some of the layout options and other settings that I think would help you. First thing is, um, you can adjust the size of this video here, make the sheet music bigger, you know, make that bigger. But I actually like it better with the video on top, and that's this button here if you hover in the right corner of the video, in the boxy button. And then you can also change the size of that if you want. Similarly, you can change the size of the sheet music even outside of that, and that's in the settings gear thingy down here. Click on that, and then there's a zoom level thing. Pull that, and you can make it bigger or smaller. You can make it so that it's one exercise per line, which is nice. That seems to be at zoom level about 131 or so, around there. Um, and then, you know, you can still adjust the video if you want to see the fingers. If you don't want to see them, just make the video as small as possible, but you can't take the video away in this setting. So down here it says recording video. Now you could do it with the synth, that's, you can go and click that. The cool thing about that is you can really modify the BPM and have very high control over it. Let's go back to video for now. All right, let's say you wanna watch the video a little bit, but also see the sheet music. Now, we don't wanna transpose it because we're good in this key. Actually, you could transpose it. If you wanna practice this on the D string, you could do that which is cool. You could go full screen. If you want um, one measure of count in, you can click on that and you'll have an empty bar to start. And then horizontal view is where it all goes this way. And you can just, you know, so that as you're playing it, it can just auto scroll for you on one line only. Okay, and let's say you don't want to see the piano part that I have to help you find the beat. What you can do is it says track appearance and you can go solo on violin. Okay, so that's up to you. You know, or you could take away the piano things. Um, and then this other option here is expand repeat. So that would be instead of having these two measures that has a repeat, you would have two measures and then it would just play them again for you. And that would go for the whole thing, obviously. So then it even has like the number again, so it would be obviously second time on number two. I think it's better to conserve space, but it's totally up to you. We can get rid of that by either clicking this again, or you could have X'd out of it. Either way is fine. And then um, when you're doing, so, oh, sorry, I actually like the other view better personally. So I'm gonna take away the use horizontal view. And then, um, so let's go down here. We got speed, 100%. So currently I have this set to eighth note equals 50. It's pretty slow and you might wanna speed it up. Now, if I start here, this is gonna be me talking. So I'm just gonna put it here at the first note and then I can hit space bar, I can hit play, or I can hit play here. There's actually a lot of options either way. Now that had no count in because I didn't choose to have a count in but I'm kind of just showing you the speed. So this is the speed it's at currently. And I can increase the speed. Let's say I double it. It'll automatically repeat. Okay, and then if you want to get more specific about it, I recommend going here. So it says recording video synth. So go to synth. And this has no video and this is, you know, sound files playing it. So if I put the cursor here, I'm, I'm at 100 BPM. I think because I was just double in that last screen. So I can modify it a lot more. Now this is going by fives right now. But I can also go up as much as I want, you know? 66, 67, etc. Okay, now, is there anything else? Yes, there is. So let's say you click here, drag this button, and it'll automatically loop it for you. So let me make it really fast so that we don't have to sit here for too long watching it. Okay, so if I hit play, or I'm actually gonna hit the space bar, that's my favorite. So it'll infinitely loop it. And you can choose a smaller section too. All right, and then we have this 
little guy here. So we click on this little volume looking thing and you do have an overall setting, but maybe you don't want to hear the piano part. That's fine. You can either mute both piano lines or you can just hit solo on violin. Maybe you're really good and you don't want to hear the violin anymore, but you want to hear the piano parts just to keep you on track to have something to play to. So you can mute the violin part, right? And then when you play it, right? Or similarly, we could do violin is going with no piano. So muting that and having nothing is the same as saying mute, oh sorry, solo. You know, I, get, I think you get that. Okay, and then we have a metronome here. So this is just a setting option. There's no screen that pops up. Uh, you can see it's a little bit darker there. So that means the metronome is on. Okay, and there's a metronome volume here. I went to the volume thing. So if it's a bit loud, you know, you can make it a little softer. So it's not so intrusive. Or you can make it louder so that you can hear it. This is a guide as to where you are on the piano. I don't think you're going to necessarily get much use out of it unless you're a piano player. <laughs> or if you just wanted to see what was happening. Now, of course, it's going pretty fast right now. So, And yeah, I think that's about it. Those are the options I wanted to show you, and um, have fun practicing.